Back to Eleanor's channel. Happy Vlogmas 19. Nearly there, Con. We're literally nearly there, mate. I know, We're I only know. six days from Crimbo. Is it six? Five. Five. Yeah, because on hot Christmas but, yesterday but, they said six days to But you don't, actually ca you don't actually count today either, so it's actually four. Oh my god, Con, don't. <laughs> um, guys, today we literally have the best video of Vlogmas. I think I would. It's my favourite one. I've been waiting for this is, yeah. since day one of Vlogmas. Yeah. I've been waiting for this specific vlog. But I've been waiting for this all year. Not even since Vlogmas, I've been waiting for this all year. Do you know how fun our activity this morning is going to be? Literally it's going to be phenomenal. Literally the best thing in the entire world. So Angels, today we are heading to the supermarkets to get some food for Christmas. For our first Christmas. And we're hosting, so we need to get quadruple oh, the amount of food. We literally need to get loads con. Listen, Bill, I had actually just think about this the other day. Yeah. We have to get basically food from now till Christmas. Yeah. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and then all the food after that as well until New Year, basically. So we're basically doing like the biggest Christmas shop in the entire world, con. So basically prepare to have two trolleys full. Yeah. Essentially, what that is charm. literally gonna be us. So, we thought for today's video, and also actually just because we're nosy, really, aren't we? Mm. Like, we want to see what's in all the different shops. We are gonna go to a few different supermarkets, primarily so we can, you know, pick the best, pick the best, um, but also so we can show you guys what's in the supermarkets this Christmas. We're gonna start off with Aldi. Uh, long story short, because there's a car wash next to Aldi and Wilma needs a wash. She's still food. Then we're going to Marks and Spencers, and then I think we're going to finish up at Tesco's. Is that our order? Are we heading anywhere yeah, else? Yeah, and if we need to go anywhere else, guess what? We can do we'll it tomorrow there. or oh. another time. Oh, we didn't match there. <laughs> here we go, boys and girls. First stop of the day. Okay, here we are. We've just quickly popped down the veg aisle, and we're not really too sure what to do in regards to veg because. It's still five days before Christmas, which I know isn't very long, but in terms of vegetables, it obviously is. So we picked up some broccolini, but I think unless we manage to get to the shops earlier, we're gonna have to get frozen veg corn, aren't we? I don't know if we want it. I've never done it before. And then another thing that we want, which I'm not sure if we're gonna pick up from here, gammon, because we all really like gammon. Connor's mum is doing the turkey, and then we're in charge of sort of any other meat that we want to have. I think gammon is really the only one. Is gammon the only one we're gonna get? I think so. And I really wanna get one like this. That sounds absolutely divine. The gammon joint with sweet orange and blossom honey glaze. Go on then. They do have so much meat in Aldi. They've got a Christmas pudding gammon joint. Got stuffed duck. They've even got a gingerbread gammon joint. Oh my goodness. My Christmas taste buds are tingling. Oh my God, Con, look. Merry Borswan, we like that. Garlic and herbs. Oh, go on then, Con. What's in there? Parma ham, salami. Oh, lovely. Prawn cocktail. I really, really, really want to have prawn cocktail for starters on Christmas Day. I just don't like it. But Con doesn't want to and it like kills my vibe. Oh my God, no, wait, wait, wait. What's underneath them? Oh my actual goodness. Wow. Yeah. Con came, was it here you came the other day when you were doing the food shop? Yeah. And you said all the puddings look really good. Yeah. Maybe we should get some puddings from here, Con. Oh yeah? You like the look of that, do you? You like the look of that? Okay, that's going in the trolley then. What is that? What is that, Con? That's your birthday present, Con. Yeah, I just saw that one as well. What's that? Oh my goodness, Belgian salted chocolate and salted caramel, caramel cheesecake. Con. <laughs> Pick up my favourite quiche. Best quiche in the entire world. I will happily eat a whole one in one sitting. Every day, every time I go shopping, that's what I need to get here. Yeah. That's Ellie's list. That's my favourite dinner. Quiche, quiche. Quiche. We're having a real hard time, guys, deciding what desserts to get for actual Christmas Day. It's like, too many. We just see all of these desserts and we really, really, really want them. And now we're buying like, the cream and the custard and stuff. And so now we need to decide what desserts we're going to get because we need to know what additions to the desserts we're gonna get, if you know what I mean. I'm definitely picking up some clotted cream, because that's delicious. Essentials, cheese puff pastry twists, and then what are these ones? Onion chive, go on then, Con. Con's already prepared. Biscuits, mmm. 
Why am I literally so food orientated? I actually don't understand. <gasps> Does something to me. Oh my god, Con. Mmm, look at all of these. These are all like waffles. starter pieces. Mini gammon waffles. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Chocolate reef. Listen, boo. Why go to Hotel Chocolat when you've got Audi? That's true. I've Chocolate that reef. Oh my goodness. I. <sighs> Listen, why do I love food so much? I would say we need one of those celebration jars, but to be honest, we've already got them all. Oh yeah, go on nuts. then, Con. At the end of the day, nuts and nuts. Yeah, and we got our little nut dish yesterday, exactly. didn't we? Should we get... Honey, roasted, yeah. Oh uh, no, raisins. Stolen? What's stolen, Con? You don't know what stolen is? What is it then? So stolen is actually... Don't even, it doesn't even say on it's there like what it is, Con. Yeah. Like uh, bread. Oh, stop it. No, you, I know what actually is. You know when you have like a uh, log roll? Yeah. And it's like half chocolate, half like vanilla? Yeah. That's what it is. Really? Sounds like jam roly poly to me, Con. We get some mince pies, Con. Yeah, we'll get Master Spice. All boys. right. Yeah, good, good shout. I think we're nearly done in Aldi, to be honest. Let's still go around. Yeah, all right. I'm happy to do that. Do you hear what I hear? Mm. What is that? That's um, croc and, croc and bouche. Profiteroles con, absolutely look. gorgeous. Have a look what look at look. that, white chocolate and winterberry roulade. Why is every single dessert so yummy? I can't. Go on then, con. Oh, I can't get it out. Go on, boo. Wow, good job. Oh my god, and you build it on, you build it on yeah, your own, con. Yeah, you've got to assemble it yourself, fun. Oh, mm. con, should we do that? That'd be fun, Do you know what I mean? It? It's only 4.99. Oh no, hang on, we all love a bit of banoffee pie, right? Where did you see the banoffee pie? Yeah. Oh, Pavola. Oh, Con, oh, that's not banoffee pie, that's bloody toffee pavlova, Con. Audi is done. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Next stop? m and m and you're up. Not gonna lie, everybody, this is the supermarket I'm probably most excited for. What about you, Con? What's your. You need to get a ticket, don't you, babe? <gasps> Good idea, Con. Already, already picked them up. I will be having absolutely zero of those. Con, I'm not I trying any. The way I make them. Connie, you've never made them before. Oh my god, look at those Christmas trees, Con. How cute. We should have come to M&S for Christmas decks, you're right. Right, okay, Con, let's do a full spread of M&S. Usually we just pop straight to the snack section. No, here we go, Boo. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know there was so many mince pie differences. All butter mince pies, I think they're going to be my favourite. Yeah. But they look really good as well, Con. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, this is what I'm talking about. Classic dip selection and sausage rolls. Oh, potato salad, Con. Should we get a bit of potato salad? Oh, here we go. Is this Christmas aisle or is this Christmas aisle? Billionaire shortbread bites. <gasps> Look at those, Con. Wow. Okay, one thing everybody needs to know if they've never sh really shopped food in Marks and Spencers is the cheddar cheese potato mash. It's literally the best mash you're ever gonna have in your entire life. What's that, Angel? Oh, Connor's really desperate to have potato mash on Christmas Day. Is that the mash you want to go for? Decisions, decisions. I make my own. Connor, I make my own. You have never made mash in your life. I have actually. I no, I don't I think do. you have. I think you're bluffing. You gonna do it? Oh, I'm gonna see what else. Oh, about. brave move, brave move. Right, Con, custard selection. Do we go for thick and creamy Madagascan vanilla? Or do we just go for the, oh no, that's low fat. No, no thanks. Oh my goodness, how cute are these? Santa's hat profiteroles. Mini melting middle puddings. Oh wow. Mini millionaires and pecan tarts. <gasps> I might have to do that. What special do they look? Look, look at that gold. Wow, shining bright like a diamond. Lost him for five minutes and where have I found him? At the cracker aisle. Do cheese crackers or should we go for the biscuits for cheese? No, we've honestly, Con, we've had this debate before. Not long ago when we wanted to take them oh, into the, the cinema. Um, we definitely decided against them. Obviously, Millionaire's Mini Bites, because they're my favourite. Do you know what? It's two for four pounds as usual, so I might get two. Okay, finally, we are in the last supermarket stop. Um, and I am picking up 
some roasties, roast potato. I have a feeling this is going to be the hardest decision yet. I know Connor said he wanted some goose for that one. It's like we're going to go all out. He's currently, oh there he is. He just ran off to find the carrots and parsnips. My loads. Wow boo, good job. I really want to pick the potatoes, Con, because there's not very many left, look. We can do Aunt Bessie's, who is a bay, or we can do Tesco's Finest. I don't think you can go around with Aunt, can No. Have a quick little look at the Tesco's desserts. We did pick up some really yummy ones in M&S. <gasps> <got some>. Wow! <laughs> look at that con, Christmas <laughs> snow globe. How cute! Okay, this is the Tesco's trolley. We will show you our purchases when we're home. And we're home. Hello angels. The kitchen is now tidy. Um, painting my nails. Look at that by the way. Festive. This colour is called candy cane. Can it be more relevant? I have just finished putting everything away and I thought I would show you quickly what we got because this is the most exciting grocery haul in the entire year and you guys know I'm literally not even joking. Um, you want to see how busy our fridge is? Whoa. Sorry, what? Literally, I said to Connor, we've never had a fridge that full. We have never had a fridge that full, honestly. The last time I saw a fridge this full was when it was Christmas and I still lived with my mum. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, where do we even begin? We've got so much stuff in the cupboards as well. Let me get out as much as possible and I can show you everything. So starting off with the sort of nibbly snack kind of bits, which in my opinion is the best part of Christmas. Okay, we picked up some peanuts and some cashews. I feel like nuts are an absolute staple to have on Christmas day. Um, we've got some Pringles. We've got Pringles original, Texas barbecue, sour cream and chive. In my opinion, you can never have too many Pringles. Um, for crisps, we've got cheese and onion and salt and vinegar. Kettle chips are my favorite. Connor picked up some of these cheese savouries. Um, to go with the crisps, we picked up some of the classic dips. In here we have onion and garlic sour cream and chive, cheddar and chive, and sweet chili mayo. One of my favorite things about the Christmas food is just, honestly, you're literally all nibbling and you're watching TV and you just have like, you know, a massive bowl of crisps and you have a dip on the table and it's just gorgeous and I'm very excited for it. So I'm really, really happy that I managed to get my hands on those crisp and dip. Crackers for some cheese. We actually only bought camembert um, in this sort of grocery haul. We already have loads of hard cheese, sort of like, um, smoked cheddar and garlic and herb cheese and stuff in the fridge already, which is what I'd already bought. So for that cheese, we picked up some crackers. We got these crispy cheese crackers from Marks and Spencers and then the salted ones from Aldi. Cheese twists and cheese and onion twists. And for the camembert, which by the way, has a little bit of cranberry sauce and it's really nice. This one is from Asda. Um, I just picked up a tiger button. There are all the crispy bits. Coming over here to the sort of more party food, we got loads, primarily because, not that we're gonna be eating all of this on Christmas day, but Connor and I just like to have kind of like bits on the side to nibble throughout the day anyway. Um, so we'll probably be having a little bit of this on Christmas Eve or on Boxing Day. And also we are going to my sister's house for like a family get together with my family on the night of Christmas day. So whatever we have left over, we will be taking that. We picked up one of my favorite quiches in the entire world. This is just so handy to just throw in the oven and then everyone can have a little piece. Aldi, that's the cheese and onion quiche. We picked up some potato salad from Marks and Spencers. We all love a bit of potato salad and it's just something that you can so easily have with quiche or something. I don't know, it's just an easy lunch. For these little platters here, we picked up Brie and Cranberry Tartlets, Marks and Spencers had an offer on, which is why we got a few bits from Marks and Spencers. How gorgeous they sound. So yummy. We got some mozzarella pesto filled mini bites. So from Marks and Spencers, we got the mini garlic and chicken Kievs. And then we also got some pigs and blankets from Marks and Spencers. These are gonna be like the nibbly pigs and blankets just to have on like a tray. We have got other pigs and blankets for our actual Christmas dinner. Um, finally from Marks and Spencers, we picked up some chicken and ham on croots. These for me are just really easy dinners and I'll probably be having this on Christmas Eve or something. When we were in Aldi, we picked up some of these mini chicken leek and white wine pies. Um, when we went to Marks and Spencers, they actually did do some really, really yummy looking chicken and steak mini pies but we'd already bought these ones um we also got these mini gammon waffles i think they look gorgeous and then also from aldi we picked up a little selection of some spanish meats that is all the nibbly bits okay next up we have sort of the main food this looks like nothing let me explain basically as excited as i am to be hosting this christmas i don't feel like i'm actually properly hosting as such like i feel like i'm providing the dining table and some of the food and the roof over the heads but 
Connor's mum is actually being an absolute angel and still cooking all of the main stuff. Like, I, I just feel like I'm 23 years old. I have never had the pressure of cooking. Do you know what I mean? As bad as that sounds, never, ever, ever cooked a Christmas dinner solely on my own with only Connor to help me and assist. So I didn't really want the pressure of like, you know, trying to impress Connor's parents and be like, oh, look at this lovely turkey I made when in reality, everyone is just comparing it to her turkey anyway. So she is doing the turkey, which is obviously gonna be the main meat. She's also doing um, the stuffing because her stuffing is to die for. One of the main things I look forward to all year is literally Susan Swift's stuffing. It is the best stuffing in your entire life. I wish I could all invite you over and I'll get her to cook us loads. She'd actually do that, you know. And she's also doing this special dish that I'd never actually had before I met Connor. It's like shallots in a really nice cheesy sauce. And that is just like a dish that they always have with their Christmas dinner and now I do too because it's my favourite dish in the entire world. So she's making all of that and then she's bringing it to our house on Christmas Day. Um, but in the meanwhile, we picked up obviously the roast potatoes. I actually think we got four bags. I could only see three in the freezer, but I could have sworn we got four. We picked up these, the Aunt Bessie's Duck Fat Roast Potatoes. They are delicious roast potatoes, and I don't care what anybody says, like, in my opinion, these beat just a normal roast potato. Um, we also picked up some potato gratin, which is another one of our family faves. I don't know what this is. It's literally like sliced potato in a really nice creamy cheesy a little bit garlicky sauce um you just put it in a dish and it's the nicest thing ever um again we got some more pigs and blankets but i don't really feel like that's going to be enough that's 24 there probably have to go out and get some more we also got a joint of gammon for christmas day this one is the honey and mustard glazed gammon from marks and spencers um we all just like to have a little bit of variety on christmas day really none of us particularly like beef and um i don't really like lamb and no one else is really that crazy about it so gammon and turkey are our meats this christmas and then we also got um a gammon joint from Aldi. Obviously, we went to Aldi before Marks and Spencers, but this one, believe it or not, I know it doesn't look it, but this one is actually a lot smaller than this one. And this one is with a sweet orange and blossom honey glaze. So I think Connor and I might have that on Boxing Day. Um, I'm not sure. It will definitely get eaten. Like, nobody worry about that. So yeah, and then we have gravy as well, but gravy's like kind of boring. We literally just got the Bisto one. Where is it? It's at the back there, if you guys can see. There we have the meat, the potatoes, the pigs in blankets, the gravy, the stuffing, extra dishes like the potato gratin and the cheesy onions. We have another meat, um, but I just, oh, the veg. That was it, the vegetables. We do have veg, but I put it in the freezer. We've got parsnips and carrots, and I also got broccolini, and we have peas and green beans. What I wanted to ask you guys, and this is like genuinely, I'm asking for help here. How do you make veg nice? Do you know what I mean? How do you like glaze it in a really nice honey sauce? Can someone please tell me in the comments? If you have any really nice recipes that you're going to be having with your family this Christmas, please share with the angels, everybody. Come on, don't be selfish. Then... I got a couple of bits out that we're going to be having for breakfast, Connor and I. So for breakfast on Christmas Day, we're going to be having Eggs Royale. We picked up some of these muffins, some smoked salmon, um, and we also got hollandaise sauce, obviously. We already have, like, pepper and salt and eggs, so that's all we really needed. And then we also picked up some orange juice here, and we'll probably get some champagne and have some Bucks Fizz. And then finally, the best part, the desserts. I don't know why, but I still feel like I haven't got enough desserts and I'm kind of freaking out about it. If anybody has any inspo, please comment below. But these are the desserts we've gone for this year. Okay, so when I walked into Marks and Spencers and I actually looked at the festive dessert section, I could not believe my eyes. I could not believe it. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, which is this. It's a melt in the middle chocolate and salted caramel pudding. So it looks like a Christmas pudding, but it's not. That is caramel and that is chocolate and that is white chocolate. Sorry, but how nice. We're all chocoholics over here. So we will all love that. That's from Marks and Spencers. Also from Marks and Spencers, it's kind of gone a bit funny on the top because I think it maybe banged against this, but this is a raspberry crown trifle and basically it's just a really yummy trifle but it has like gold on the bottom which i think is really lovely and Christmassy. it says gold sponge crown filled with layers of creamy vanilla custard sponge whipped cream raspberry compote and strawberry conserve topped with a raspberry glaze and a gold shimmer 
<clears throat> Connor picked up this in Audi. He loves cheesecake, so we always have to have a cheesecake for Christmas. Um, this is a Belgian chocolate and salted caramel one. Can't go wrong with that, to be honest. We also picked up a couple of boxes of chocolate eclairs, just because they're really yummy and um, are a really easy kind of dessert option. To go with the dessert, we picked up some clotted cream, some double cream, and some Marks and Spencers custard, which I'm very excited to try. And then, just for sort of snacking along, we picked up some mince pies. These are the all butter ones by Marks and Spencers. And then we also just picked up some of these Mr. Kipling festive bake wells. I didn't, Connor did, but I won't lie, I will probably be having one. Um, and then we also picked up from Marks and Spencers some Millionaire's mini bites, because these are the best thing ever, as well as some chocolate buttons. Not even gonna lie, these like are both for me. I know what you're all thinking. There is one major thing missing here from the snack section, and that is celebrations. Now, let me tell you something. Over in this glass jar in the living room, we have been having celebrations since the start of November, boo. Like, you know me. In here, we have literally loads. Of, this doesn't look like it, but it's actually a really big jar. Lots of Maltesers. Um, we've got lots of Lindors. We've got um some more celebrations and we also do have some more bits in the biscuit jar as well as obviously maryland cookies chocolate digestive so i feel like i am all ready for my snacks but knowing me i will obviously find time to get some more but that angels i'm pretty sure it's everything we got for the food shop um for christmas anyway we didn't really get anything like super exciting that wasn't for christmas i'm gonna go ahead and finish today's vlogmas here thank you guys so much for watching you guys are literally my best friends in the entire world i hope you loved the christmas food haul wow that looks like nothing there but you know what i mean i'm very excited i can't believe how close it's getting now like it's actually ridiculous it's like the 20th of december today how mental is that i'm sorry i you can't believe it either it's crazy, right? Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.